जय हिंद आई एम कैडेट मंदीप रिप्रेजेंटिंग कर्नाटका एंड गोवा डायरेक्टरेट सिक्स कर्नाटक एयर स्कोर्ट एंड एन सी सी मैंगलोर एन सी सी एयरविंग फ्लाइट है टूडे इन दिस सेशन विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द टॉपिक एयर इंजिन लेट्स बिगिन विद द प्रेजेंटेशन वॉट इज एन एरो इंजिन एरो इंजिन इज द प्रोपल्सन सिस्टम ऑफ एन एयरक्राफ्ट दैट जनरेट्स मैकेनिकल पावर रिक्वायर टू फ्लाई एन एयरक्राफ्ट थियोरी ऑफ प्रोपल्शन वॉट डज प्रोपल्शन मीन Propulsion means to push forward or drive an object forward. When an aircraft is traveling through air in straight and level flight at a constant through air speed, the engine must produce thrust equal to the drag on the aircraft as shown in the figure below. If the engine thrust exceeds the drag, the aircraft will accelerate and if the drag exceeds the thrust, the aircraft will decelerate. thrust acts in propagating direction and drag in opposite direction so the propulsion system must provide thrust greater than drag in order to accelerate the aircraft forward there are two common methods of aircraft propulsion number 1 propeller engine powered by piston or gas turbine number 2 jet engine there are two types of propulsion propulsion by action and propulsion by reaction what is propulsion by action it consists of rotating a propeller in the air so as to create aerodynamic forces and to accelerate the mass of air in this type of propulsion a great mass of air is expelled rearwards with a low increase of speed this is what a propeller does on the aircraft propulsion by reaction in this case the forward force is produced by expelling a mass of gas with a certain speed In this type of propulsion a small mass of air is expelled rearwards with a great acceleration this is the principle of jet propulsion the method of calculating the thrust produced by a propeller is provided by newton's second law of motion which states that change in momentum is directly proportional to the acting force here force is nothing but thrust and thrust is given as mass flow rate of air through air times increase in velocity increase in velocity is the difference between intake velocity and jet pipe velocity what is an engine a prime mover the name given to a mechanical contrivance which develops power it is derived from the latin word ingenium that means skillful before getting to the types of engines Let's have a look to some of the terms and definitions. Work. A force is said to do work when it displaces the body from rest or from a path of uniform motion. Work is nothing but force into distance. Energy is the capacity to do work. Power is the rate of doing work. Heat is the amount of energy contained in a body. Temperature is the measure of intensity of heat energy in a body. what is a bore the inside diameter of a cylinder expressed in inches or millimeters here you can see that this is the cylinder and the inside diameter of it is this length which is nothing but bore stroke what is stroke the distance covered by the piston while it moves from top dead center to bottom dead center or vice versa This is the cylinder and the bottom part of the cylinder is called bottom dead center and top part of the cylinder is called top dead center we'll be discussing about it more in detail in our next slides top dead center the extreme position of the piston inside the cylinder when it is at the topmost end of travel and is about to begin its downward journey here you can see this is top dead center bottom dead center the extreme position of the piston inside the cylinder when it is at the lower most end of travel bottom dead center this is also bottom dead center clearance volume the space enclosed by the cylinder head and piston when the piston is at top dead center it is the volume of combustion chamber swept volume the volume of cylinder swept by the piston while moving from one dead center to
to the another. We'll be discussing about these terms later in our slides in more detail. What is compression? The action of compressing the fuel air mixture inside the combustion chamber by the upward movement of the piston. Compression ratio. It is the ratio between the overall volume of the cylinder to the clearance volume. It is a ratio of volumes and not a measure of increase of pressure. Mathematically, compression ratio is equal to sum of clearance volume and swept volume divided by clearance volume. Combustion. It is the process of chemical combination of fuel with oxygen, evolving heat. Crank. A lever or arm formed on a shaft, its object being to convert reciprocating motion into a rotatory motion. Crankshaft. The principal rotating member of an engine. It converts reciprocating motion of the piston to rotatory motion. And at its end, the power of an engine is made available for visual work through suitable devices. Crankcase. It supports the crankshaft and the cylinders. This is crankcase. Engine cylinder. It provides the housing for the piston to move up and down during various strokes. We'll study about strokes later. Connecting rod. It connects the piston to the crankshaft. Spark plug. It is fitted on the cylinder head to give spark at the plug points to ignite the mixture in the cylinder. Carburetor. It supplies the correct mixture of petrol and air to the engine. Fuel pump. It sends the fuel to the carburetor under positive pressure. Oil pump. It ensures positive lubrication of the engine. Generator. It is used to provide current to the various electrical services in the aircraft. Magneto, it supplies desired high voltage current to the spark plugs. Now, types of engines. There are two types of engines in general use. They are external combustion engines and internal combustion engines. What are external combustion engines? They are the system the fuel is burnt outside the engine. The example is railway locomotive where the fuel coal is burnt outside the engine to, to generate steam which is used to power the locomotive. These were used in olden days. Now railway locomotives are replaced by electrical engines. Now what is internal combustion engine? In this system the fuel is burnt inside the engine. This type of engine has become very common since it has been used widely to power motor cars, aeroplanes and ships etc. This is the representation of external combustion engine. This is the representation of internal combustion engine. Now let's study through a graphic video the working of piston engine piston moves on its first downward stroke the intake valve opens to allow a mixture of air and fuel to fill the combustion chamber this is called the intake stroke next the intake valve closes and the piston moves on an upward stroke that compresses the air fuel mixture the compression of the air fuel mixture will make it combust with greater force than if it were uncompressed. This is called the compression stroke. Third, the spark plug ignites the air-fuel mixture, causing it to burn explosively, which forces the piston into another downward stroke. This is called the power stroke. The fourth stroke is the exhaust stroke. As the piston begins its second upward stroke, the exhaust valve opens and the burned air-fuel mixture is forced out of the combustion chamber through the exhaust valves. Two terms you may be asked to explain to customers are the engine's compression ratio and displacement. Compression ratio is the ratio between the total volume of a combustion chamber and cylinder when the piston is at the bottom of its stroke and when the piston is at the top of its stroke. In this example, the compression ratio is 10 to 1.
Working of a four-stroke engine. Four-stroke cycle is the sequence of operation by which the engine converts the heat energy into mechanical energy. The various strokes of the cycle are as follows. Induction stroke, compression stroke, power stroke and exhaust stroke. Now, what is induction stroke? In this stroke, a mixture of petrol and air is introduced into the cylinder. Compression stroke. In this stroke, the inducted mixture is compressed inside the cylinder. Power stroke. In this stroke, the heat and high pressure generated to the spark plug is given to the mixture. At the end of compression stroke, drives the piston down to the bottom dead center of the cylinder. Exhaust stroke. In this stroke, the waste products of the combustion are ejected out of the cylinder. Operating phases of aero engine. Aero engines are machines which transform the potential energy contained in fuel and air either to kinetic or mechanical energy. The gas energy is produced by the combustion of an air fuel mixture. The forward thrust is produced as per Newton's third law which states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. The operating cycle of a basic air engine is called Brayton cycle. There are basically five operating phases for an air engine. They are as follows induction, compression, combustion, expansion and exhaust. Components of an air engine. In an air engine the operating phases are achieved with the help of following components air intake, compressor, combustion chamber, turbine assembly and exhaust assembly. A gas turbine is essentially a heat engine using air as fluid to produce thrust. The working cycle of the gas turbine is similar to that of a piston engine with, and both engine cycles have induction, compression, combustion and exhaust phases. However, a gas turbine is able to deal with much large amounts of energy for a given size and weight and it has the added advantage of mechanical motion which is continuous and entirely rotational whereas the piston engine uses a intermittent reciprocating motion which is converted to rotatory motion by means of cranks in consequence the gas turbine runs more smoothly this is the illustration of a gas turbine Ideal gas turbine cycle A basic thermodynamic cycle of a jet engine as illustrated below. This shows the variation of pressure and volume. This is called Brayton cycle. Brayton's thermodynamic cycle The compression is adiabatic which results in an increase in pressure and temperature. Here you can see this is adiabatic compression. The continuous combustion is achieved in a chamber where the pressure drops slightly while the temperature increases. This is the next cycle. The expansion is adiabatic which results in drop of pressure and temperature. This is adiabatic expansion. The exhaust is frictionless constant pressure heat rejection. This is the last step of the cycle and this cycle continues in a jet engine and it is known as Brayton's thermodynamic cycle. Turbo propeller engines. What are turbo propeller engines? Turbo propeller engine is a gas turbine engine which supplies mechanical energy to a propeller or set of propellers for producing a required thrust. They are used because they are more efficient than turbojet engines up to 450 miles per hour speed. Turbo propeller engines. The gas turbine engine that is used to drive a propeller is called a turbo propeller engine. The turbo propeller engine is simply a turbine engine where a propeller is attached to a low pressure rotor at the front via a gearbox. The air that passes through the propeller near its inner diameter 
also passes through the compressor stages in the core of the engine and is further compressed and is processed through the engine cycle. The air that passes through the outer diameter of the propeller does not pass through the core of the engine but instead passes along the outside of the nacelle. The large volume of the air pushed back backward by the propeller provides airplane thrust in the same way as the smaller high velocity air from the nozzle of a classic jet engine. There are two types of turbo propeller engines, single shaft engine and free turbine engine. In a single shaft engine, the propeller is driven by the same shaft that drives the compressor. Because the propeller needs to rotate at a lower RPM than the turbine, a reduction gearbox reduces the engine shaft rotational speed to accommodate the propeller through the propeller drive shaft. Free Turbine Engine In a free turbine engine, the propeller is driven by a dedicated turbine. A different turbine drives the compressor. This turbine and its compressor run at a near constant RPM regardless of the propeller pitch and speed. Because the propeller needs to rotate at lower RPM than the turbine, a reduction gearbox converts the turbine RPM to an appropriate level for the propeller. Here you can see the illustration of single shaft engine. This is single shaft engine and this is pre-turbine engine. 